Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream, and that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time, or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that's pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? Then you would get more and more adventurous, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. So in this idea then, everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality. Not God in a politically kingly sense, but God in the sense of being the self. The deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that. Only you're pretending you're not. So then, when you're in the way of waking up and finding out who you really are, if you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, or shall I say, death implies life, you can feel yourself, not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility of life to think about. What you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. So then, when you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever and sort of undergo that. But one of the most interesting things in the world, this is a yoga, this is a way of realization. Try and imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Think about it. Children think about it. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? And if you think long enough about that, something will happen. You will find out, among other things, that uh, it'll pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. You can't have an experience of nothing. Nature abhors a vacuum. So after you're dead, the only thing that can happen is the same experience, or the same sort of experience, as when you were born. In other words, we all know very well that after people die, other people are born. Well, it's back in the